Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So today we're actually going to be talking about a tool to help you generate fabrics, textures, prints using AI. I know there's a lot of them out there right now, but this one specializes in digital fabrics. It's already a website that I'm used to using for years now. And they came up with this Fabricator AI that helps you generate textures and also generates the maps that you need to put inside clothes for your fabrics. So I think it's pretty cool. You don't have to generate those maps outside after you make the prints, they make it for you. So I'm just gonna share my screen now and show you how it works. So this is it here, it's called Vmode. This website I'm actually like very familiar with. I've been using it for years. I usually go on the 3D library and download digital fabrics from it. This is actually a company that sells real physical fabrics. And right when 3D started to become more popular, this was the first company that actually took on the 3D digitized fabrics and started building their library. So they have currently 7,307 digital fabrics that you can use from and download. And it's just incredible. Anything that you can imagine, they have it here. So I recommend for the digital fabrics. And now they have this fabric AI, Fabricator AI, I better call it by the right name. There's only one thing that I think they're still working on, which is letting us download as a final fabric like they do with the rest of the website instead of just downloading a zip file with all the different textures separate. I know that you can use other AI to make fabrics like this, prints. You can go to Mid Journey and, you know, input a prompt and get your fabric, but there is a little bit of a twist here. They kind of help you out with the prompting. So this kind of helps you and guides you on how to do so. So the way it works is you go on Fabricator by Vmode and you can either do the custom version or the quick version. I just recommend doing the custom one because it has more steps. That's the only difference. Uh, you can make more choices on the quick version is just really a quick version as the name says. Step one, generate swatches. So here is where you're going to put the prompt for your texture that's going to be used to generate new images. But it just gives you some tips to help you figure out what to actually put on the prompt. Or you can use your own swatch. Instead of generating, you can upload your own image and convert that onto a 3D texture. I actually never use this one, but I will test it with you guys. I do have a fabric that I can use to maybe try to generate something similar to use that in my digital version. So on the prompt, I'm going to use the tools that they give you. So patterns, colors, and characteristics. So click on patterns and this window opens and you can scroll and choose whatever kind of pattern that you want. Even gives you like famous artists, styles, animal prints. This is where V mode is really helpful because sometimes you have an image in your head, but you don't know what kind of prompt that would actually be named to get the correct version. Let's do this twist cable version here. Under colors actually gives you very specific colors. Let's try some Christmas vibe. So like red, maybe dark maroon and forest green, maybe white as well. And under characteristics are you know, fabric characteristics. And you can see here, they have a few coming soon. You can tell they've been working on this and they'll keep working on this, which is really amazing. My pattern type is that twist cable. So maybe something fluffy to bring that up like that, or just a yarn maybe. You can, you can put multiple things. So you can choose, let's do yarn and silk, see what comes up or maybe shimmer. You can always delete here. So you just delete your prompt. Okay, this one. I'm just gonna use what they give us, see what comes up. But obviously you could still put something here. And then you can also add negative prompting. So 
things that you don't want to actually show. If you don't want a color to show, if you don't want a specific characteristic, you can add those prompts here. Any visual elements you wish to exclude. And then on the fabric type, this is where it kind of got me confused and this is where I think they're still working on it. You can choose the fabric type, which gives you the texture. Obviously, it's going to be added on the map for the texture, for the normal map. But it doesn't actually give you the fabric properties just yet. So I think that's something they're probably going to work in the future to just let us download the file with the fabric type, with the fabric properties. It doesn't work now, but... Keep in mind that you still have to choose one. So your normal map, your displacement maps, all the maps are with that texture of that specific fabric. And then obviously keep in mind which one it is. So you can in Clove choose a base fabric that is the same as this and just add your textures on top. Okay, so let's do just a knit or something. And this is where my camera doesn't let me see. You guys can see, but I can't. So I'm just gonna minimize this window so I can pull it to the side and I can see it because my camera is blocking it. And then here you can add a reference image. So if you have any re reference images that you want the AI to use, you can add it here. And this is also where you choose how many prompts or outputs do you want to see. You can see here, you can choose up to eight, but I'm just gonna do four to see what it gives us. And your estimated time and your credits. So unfortunately, this is a tool that you need to pay subscription for. So you guys can have a look and see if you want the subs subscription or not. But even so, I think if you try just a free login, you know, a free version, they give you a few credits for you to use the website and try it out. So you can use those to try this out. Okay. And then you just click generate swatches and we see what happens with our prompt. Better up, better up, better up. Okay, these are the images that it generated. It's still very low quality, but we're gonna be able to just uh, upscale it. This one I don't really like. This one's fine. Kind of like that one and this one is very, very similar. You can reuse this as a reference. I'm just gonna use this one. Okay, and then you select one of them. And then this is where we're gonna make it a seamless pattern. I'm also gonna have to pull this to the side again. This is so frustrating. This script, please let me move the camera while I'm recording it. Thank you. Okay, so here you can either, you know, make your own selection or just let the whole image make its own seamless pattern. And then you just make the seamless. So this is gonna work itself and make a seamless pattern out of it, which is pretty amazing. You don't have to do it. How are you guys doing? All good? I just came back from Orlando. It was pretty fun. I love Universal. All the universal stuff was pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so this made itself a seamless pattern. Now we go to next. And this is where you're going to upscale your texture. So I'm just going to do 2K. No need for 4K, but you can do 4K if you want. We just wait. Have you been to Universal? What's your favorite part of Universal? I really love the Harry Potter ride. I always forget the name. The green gods. The cube was crazy, but it was fun. Okay, click next again. This is where it's going to tell you all the maps that it's going to generate for you. So base color, roughness, metal, normal, height, and alpha is still coming. So any see-through fabrics doesn't work yet, but as you can see, coming soon. So I'm hopeful that it will come very, very soon. Add met metalness to the fabric. No, it's fine. And then another 100 credits to get that done. So here it is. Um, all the maps and the fabric itself. We can see in a couple of different things. Scale, bigger, smaller. All of that we can still change inside Clo. okay? So now we are just going to download this. They give you the download for every version. So from the start, you can still download those first four generated images. You can download them if you want, but I'm just gonna download the zip file with the maps and the fabric image. If you're watching this V-Mode, please just add a version to download this as a fabric. 
Thank you. I'm gonna minimize and we're gonna go to close. And then here I'm going to find first a knit fabric. So this is where we're gonna steal the properties. So let me just do a double knit. This one will do. And we're just going to add the maps to that. So this is where they need to work on. I, I want the fabric to come with the actual properties. So I don't need to do this step. And we are going to change all the different textures here. So base color, there you go. That's massive. Normal map, they give you two different types. This one and this one. So you can see the only thing that changes are the, the levels. So which one you want, go for that. Let's go with this. Gonna make it a bit stronger. Displacement, they call it height. Opacity, this is where we will use the uh, alpha. Delete this one, cause we don't have that opacity map. Roughness, they give you the roughness. And metalness. And this is far too big, let's just make it smaller. There you go. That's it. So that's the print. And now we're going to do another text, another texture, but we're going to do use a swatch. So I actually had this fabric for, why am I standing up? I don't know. So I've had this fabric for a long time now. So this is this side. And this is this side and I'm going to take a photo of this and try to make generate an image in AI. So here we go. Where am I going to take a photo? Just here at the table, I guess it's quite dark actually, but here we go. Just going to take a photo with my phone and use that. Let's see what happens. Let me download that photo for first. Right. Okay. So just add a photo. I assume, I think this is it. Okay. That's the photo image is not seamless at all. Is there anything else? No, that's it. Use swatch. And I guess we'll see what gives us hopefully something. Okay. That's the image uploaded. So it just takes a square. Oh, this is it. <laughs> Just make it seamless. Okay. I guess this is a way to get your fabrics that you have at hand imported to Clo. Could be useful. Okay. Is this really seamless? Doesn't look very seamless to me. This part's a bit, mm. but it's not that bad. Maybe if I just make this focused somewhere there or something. Okay, let's try again. Got this in America. I like it. Icebreakers. Okay, let's see if the second one is a bit better. Why is this part always so light? I guess you know, if I had a photo that was more consistent with the lighting, this probably wouldn't happen. I think maybe putting on an actual printer and scanning it might be better. Cause then the lighting will be even, but we'll go with this. Okay. Let's go with that. Let's bring this up a bit. I'm not really sure how many credits I had to use to make this one. Did I have to use any credits? Let's do the metalness on this. Mm, not too bad. Actually quite impressive. If my lighting was better, it would have been better. Again, this is the original. Maybe a little bit of the color can be improved, but again, it's a matter of my photo. Okay, let's just download and see. Oh, I was able to move the camera. Why did I not move before? It moved now. Why did it move before? I don't understand. Filmed the whole video and the camera finally lets me move. The camera moved. Now we're gonna go back to Clo. This is actually turning out to be a very long video. Not what I intended at all, but sure. If you're still here, comment down below your favorite XG song. And if you don't know who XG is, look it up and then come back and comment. Okay. You're not going to regret it. Let me just do a normal fabric and add this on top. So this video can finally be done and you guys can go watch the next one. <laughs> 
Which one was it? I think I actually didn't give a title. So untitled. And this is the base texture and normal map. They always give you two normal maps, which kind of cool. You can choose. I'm going to make the flowers go up. Displacement. No opacity map because they don't give you that. Roughness. And metalness. Metalness. And I guess we'll test that out. Okay. You know? Not that bad. Again, if my photo was better, it could have turned out better. Right. Again, the website is vmode and the name of the new tool is Fabricator AI. Okay, so that was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was actually pretty fun to discover the tool as I showed you guys. So you can use the AI to make your prints or you can use the AI to help you bring your physical prints to life, which is pretty amazing. And I'll probably be using it a lot. I'm just gonna have to make sure my photos look better or Maybe I try to scan it next time and I'll show you guys how that looks like. If you actually use this tool, I would love to see it. So comment down below if you do, what do you think? And go over to Discord to upload your work and show us all what comes up when you use your prompts and your AI and this tool to make your digital garments. I would love to see your work and show the community all of you guys' work. So go over there and join Discord. <laughs> Also follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I post quite a lot of videos, short versions of the YouTube videos as well and upload a bit of my day-to-day -day life. So if you want to see that, go over to Instagram and TikTok. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.